Hey guys, Uncle Dane here with some sniper gameplay. Uh, today I'm going to be using the Huntsman. Kind of a controversial weapon. Uh, a lot of people like to call it the Luxman because it seems to always get headshots. As you can see right there, just one shot at that guy. Uh, let's see if I can get this scout over here. And what do you know, one shot at that guy too. Uh, the Huntsman, it's one of those weapons that everyone loves to use but hate to play against, so that's kind of what I want to talk about today are weapons that have that kind of rage factor when your opponents are using them. The hell did Valve add lizards to this game? First the ducks, now we got lizards. This game is getting ridiculous. Just kidding, you guys. You, you know I'd never make a video about the Huntsman, but I wasn't kidding when I said I wanted to talk about weapons that make people rage, and since I play a lot of Engineer, I want to talk specifically about what I like to call the fun police loadout. This consists of what I am using in this clip right here, the primary weapon being the Pompson 6000, the secondary weapon being the Short Circuit, and the melee weapon of course being the infamous Gunslinger which allows you to place combat mini sentries. Uh, the footage I have in the background might not be the best in terms of skillful engineering because I don't ever use this loadout and I will tell you why in a moment, but that actually is the point of this video. Now, in the future, I plan on making a video explaining my personal favorite loadouts for Engineer and what I consider to be the best weapons to use in most situations, but before the day I talk about that, I wanted to get this out of the way. I, being a huge fan of the Engineer and how versatile you can make his role based on what weapons you choose, am going on record as saying I absolutely despise the combination of weapons that I am using in this video. I will go into specifics in a minute. But overall, I don't like this loadout because it says no to the question that should be asked before considering adding any weapon to TF2. And that question is, is this weapon fun to use as well as fun to play against? Now, during this video, keep in mind that I think all of these weapons are useful to the engineer on their own. The Pompson helps deter spies, which are one of his direct counters. The Short Circuit helps defend against explosive classes, which are the counter to his precious buildings. And the Gunslinger allows the Engineer a more aggressive option when playing on offense. However, when used in combination, these weapons essentially are like a giant middle finger to the other team. These weapons turn the Engineer basically into a pest that is nothing more than an annoyance. It's kind of like fighting a mosquito that looks at all of your class's main abilities and just says nope so let's take a look at each of these weapons individually to better understand what makes this loadout turn the engineer into the fun police uh, first we have the Pompson 6000 uh, one of the great things about the Pompson is that it requires no ammo which is great for an engineer because it means you'll never accidentally pick up an ammo box when you have full metal um, the Pompson has four shots of laser energy stuff that flies through the air at a relatively slow speed compared to other projectiles. Uh, these projectiles do anywhere from 60 to 30 damage and this laser has a ridiculously large hitbox for some reason, meaning that if you get kind of close to it, even if it didn't look like it hit you, it still does damage to you and it induces its effects which do a few really annoying things. The first thing it does is when the projectile touches a spy, even if they are cloaked or disguised, it drains their cloak by 20%. This means that if you use this weapon to spy check, there is a very slim chance that spy will be able to get away because his ability to turn invisible is basically being shut down. Uh, this can be really annoying because when playing a spy, cloak management is a large part of the skill ceiling. So when you make it so the spy can no longer quickly determine what he can and can't do with his invisibility watch, you're just being a dick. Uh, I hate good spies, but removing a part of what makes a good spy good just makes the game no fun for them, which isn't very sportsmanlike. But in my opinion, depleting cloak is actually the less annoying effect that the projectile has, believe it or not. Most importantly, when it touches a medic, it instantly depletes the medigun's uber charge progress by 10% every time it hits them. This is extremely overpowered. If you spam your entire clip down a hallway and hit a medic with only one of these projectiles, by the time that 10% that was lost is gained back again, you can already have the Pompson reloaded and ready to spam lasers at them again. This can very effectively prevent a medic from ever getting the uber charge to 100%, and while this seems like a good tactic, looking at it from the medic's perspective, it's absolutely no fun at all to play against, because it takes no real skill to pull it off. The medic's ability to uber charge, like the spy's ability to cloak, is arguably the main ability of that class, 
Hindering those abilities at barely any cost to the player causing it is not very fun to play against and creates a genuinely frustrating atmosphere because there is little you can do to prevent it from happening. Now, uh, you might be saying, well, if you're playing a sp spy or medic, just don't get hit with the projectile. Uh, if you think that avoiding it is a simple counter to this weapon, then you probably have never played against a Pompson 6000 before. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, the laser travels at a relatively slow speed, a speed that is very different from many other projectiles in TF2, so it can be kind of difficult to predict where it's going. Uh, couple that with the fact that the hitbox is strangely larger than the actual laser animation suggests, and you've got a pretty hard to dodge beam of light that can easily be spammed into any area with no real way of knowing where it will end up. Uh, kind of annoying. The secondary slot for the fun police loadout is taken up by the short circuit, a weapon that can't really be described as a weapon per se, but more like a tool or a utility. Uh, the short circuit has the ability to completely erase any projectile fired by the enemy team. Uh, most of the time it's used to zap away sticky bombs or rockets, but it can also delete huntsman arrows, flares, baseballs and cleavers, uh, crossbow arrows, uh, cannonballs, jars of milk or piss, or even the bolt of a rescue ranger. Uh, ironically, one of the only projectiles that the short circuit can't destroy are the energy beams from the Pompson 6000. The way that the short circuit is intended to be used is to prevent your buildings from being destroyed by incoming demo spam or soldiers rockets if you are quick enough and have good reaction time. However, the thing fires so quickly that you could essentially hold down M1 and not have to worry about any sort of timing and completely negate the main weapons of two different powerhouse classes. This ability can create some bad habits in aggressive engineers because it allows them to literally erase all incoming explosive damage with practically no real amount of skill. And because of this, it can be annoying to play against. Uh, the short circuit does like 10 damage, and you have to be right up in the face of someone if you want to try and hurt them with it, so it's never practical to use as an offensive weapon. But when you aggressively use the short circuit as a battle engineer, you are just being a pest. Uh, there's no real gain in running at a soldier with the short circuit other than just rendering their primary weapon useless, which might sound like a great tactic, but looking at it from the soldier's perspective is just a dick move, and it's no fun to play against. Because unless they have a shotgun, there is quite little they can really do about it besides just walk away. And last but not least, the melee slot belongs to the Gunslinger, which adds 25 more health to your NG and allows him to build mini sentries. I'm sure you know exactly what a mini sentry does because you have probably been killed by one if you've ever played TF2 for more than 5 minutes. And they seem to be the main thing about the game that most players don't like because it is often not very fun to play against. Uh, the reason being is that they are small which makes them hard to hit. The bullets do very quick and very accurate ship damage as well as inducing disorienting knockback, which makes them hard to hit. And they only cost 100 metal, build very quickly, and they are easily replaced when finally taken out, which makes them hard to shut down. Of the three weapons in the fun police loadout, the gunslinger is the most commonly used, and some would argue that it's the most powerful of the three, which I'd probably agree with. I plan on talking more about the controversy surrounding the Gunslinger in a future video, so I won't go too much into it here, but I will say that the Mini Sentry, in my opinion, is a necessary evil because it doesn't force engineers to rely on camping in order to be successful. It shuts down scouts and rocket jumping soldiers, and it creates a mini version of what the default sentry is used for, which is area denial, which is a core role of the engineer. So overall, I have no real problem with mini sentries on their own, and even though I may be a bit biased, I think that the gunslinger is a balanced weapon. Uh, scout mains, feel free to yell at me in the comments. So the fun police loadout consists of three weapons that, when used individually, have their respective uses and aid the engineer in specific ways, most of which help defend him against his counters. But when used in combination with each other, I really believe that the Pompson, the Short Circuit, and the Gunslinger are the most annoying weapons to use in combination in the game. A good way to understand why I think that is to look at what classes each weapon in this loadout hinders individually. Uh, the Pompson 6000 hinders the main abilities of the spy and the medic. The short circuit hinders the ability of the soldier and the demo man by shutting down their main weapons. And the gunslinger hinders the ability of the scout and pyro because it messes with their core role of roaming the map. That's six out of nine classes that it is greatly affecting the fun level of. Uh, look at it this way. UGC Highlander, which is a part of competitive TF2, is well known for allowing a large amount of unlocks during matches because they want to include as much of the game as possible. Uh, very few weapons are banned from Highlander games because they want to encourage variety and creativity during these matches. 
uh, both the Pomson and the Short Circuit are banned from Highlander play because they have been deemed unfair and it creates an imbalance in the game when played at a competitive level. Uh, kind of puts it into perspective, I think. Uh, how about this? If they introduced a weapon that somehow prevents the engineer from placing a building for five seconds, I don't think it would necessarily be the most overpowered weapon to use against an engineer. I just think it would be super irritating to play against. That's what this loadout is for six classes. It turns the engineer into a class that is not exhibiting a support role for his team. He's not being an attack class or a defense class. He's just being an annoyance class. In conclusion, guys, this loadout is by no means the most powerful loadout an engineer can use. In fact, it's probably one of the more weaker loadouts when you take into account what other options the engineer has, like the Wrangler, for instance. Uh, just in this gameplay alone, I don't really get that many kills. All I end up doing is just annoying people. Like, people, when they see me, they have to change the way that they play. They have to take out their melee weapons and run at me. Like, they shouldn't have to do that. Uh, the only award this loadout gets is the award for most annoying and most fun killing loadout 2014. I highly suggest that when you play Engineer, you take into consideration the amount of fun that you want the game to be for the other people playing TF2, and don't equip these weapons simultaneously and run around making a fool of yourself like I did in this video. Uh, instead, be the support class you were born to be, and build a damn dispenser for Gaven's sake. But, I know you're not going to do it anyway, so I might as well enable you. I'm doing another giveaway. This time I'm giving away every component of the fun police loadout. <laughs> That's right. I have a Pomson 6000 crafted by me, a short circuit also crafted by me, and a vintage gunslinger that will be gifted by me that I will be giving away to one random person who enters into the raffle. Uh, this time it's a little different. Instead of giving these weapons away by selecting comments in the comment section of this video, I am holding this raffle on my new Steam group called Uncle Dane's Nieces and Nephews. <laughs> if you're not a, uh, already a member of it, there's a link to the group in the description. Uh, just join the group, and then on the front page there's an announcement that you have to comment on in order to be entered into the raffle to win the loadout. Uh, the details of when the raffle ends will be in the announcement description, so if you want to be an annoying piece of crap like me, uh, this is the perfect opportunity to do so in my honor by using my handcrafted weapons to do it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and subscribing. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on a part of engineering that I personally don't like. And if you want, go ahead and leave a comment telling me what you think about the fun police loadout. Is it as annoying as I say it is? Is the gunslinger the adopted child of Hitler, Satan, and Voldemort combined? Uh, just let me know. And to end this super long video, here is a clip of something funny that happened in a Man vs. Machine a few weeks ago. Uh, this guy absolutely loses his mind because the clearly inexperienced medic just could not understand what was going on. Uh, I apologize in advance for the language if you care about that sort of thing. Fucking God, do you have a regular fucking Uber gun? That's why you're not critting me, huh? Holy fuck, I'm ready, guys. Jesus Christ, we gotta kick the fucking medic because he's a cunt. Fuck, dude, seriously, fucking crit me now, dude, come on. Hey, cunt, crit me, you goddamn cocksucking idiot. Zach, do you fucking get it, dude? Quit healing the fucking soldier. Fucking crit me, you cunt. Oh, oh my fucking god, dude. He's fucking retarded. <laughs> He's fucking retarded. 